Two to one. OK, what is it? It's a uh, Mardi Gras gumbo. Oh, God. And does it normally look like a plate of liquid shit? No. Every time I make my gumbo, it always gets eaten, and everybody loves it. Mm. It's going to be good. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Fucking hell. God. Are you crazy? Have you tasted that? No, I didn't get a chance to taste it, chef. Uh, oh. <coughs> so you cooked it, and you didn't even taste it? I didn't have enough time. I'm so sorry you don't like it. Don't like it? I'm sorry it wasn't up to par. Up to par? It's unedible. OK, then throw it out. No, I'm not going to throw it out. Big man. Yes, sir. You like your food. Take a mouthful. Pass it along. It was completely repulsive. I would have rather had a cat shit in my mouth than have eaten that any further. Oh, shit. Oh, my god. I don't even know how to explain that. <laughs> Vinny, what was that tasting of? A big bowl of mud. So who's responsible for the Leeling Tower of Pisa? That's mine, chef. That's yours, big boy. What is it? It's uh, cha-ching sesame crusted tuna. Sorry, is it, say that again. Cha-ching sesame crusted. Um, I've never heard ching-ching. Cha-ching is like, a, oh, it's my slang. Just means it's slam and it's money. It's lamb and it's money. Slamming? Oh, slamming. Yeah. And uh, this is a meal for six, right? It's just, it's light. It just looks tall. It's light? Yeah. Would you just take your hat off for me? Is there a hole in your head? No. No. Give me your hat. What? Hat. There you go. Hold it there. So this is you on a plate. That sauce is piping hot. Just for dipping it with care. I'm going to stop eating with care. Kind of soiled the inside, but uh, still wearable. Cheese. Come on, chef. I am proud to be a redneck. I don't have to be the big dog but uh, I'm not going to let anybody run over me. What is that on there? It's butterfly shrimp and chocolate sauce. Oh, fucking hell. Get me back to London. And what's all the little bits on the uh, lemon? Oh, uh, that's a chili pepper. I wouldn't eat it if your mouth is on fire, sir. No, sweetheart, my mouth's fucked. It's not on fire. It's fucked. Very weird. It's a shame, really, because the prawn. It's actually cooked nice but totally obliterated with a silly chocolate sauce. Far too much chocolate in there. Back in line. Yes, sir. Thanks, Chef. You said it was a weird dish. And a lot of it's where you come from. I'm sure that kidney pie would taste like crap to me. Fuck me. Whose is this? It's mine. And um, first name? Polly. How long have you been cooking? Most of my life. I have had six sons. I had them all naturally. And if I can endure that, Hell's Kitchen's going to be nothing for me. Uh, just explain to me what it is, please. Um, it's an undone focaccia bread with a garlic dipping oil. Undone? What does that mean, undone? It means it's not done. Oh, so half-baked focaccia bread. Oh, my god. Right now, I'd rather eat poodle shit than put that in my mouth. Back in line. Whose is this? That would be mine. I'm really used to being underestimated my whole life. I'm about five, three and three quarters. I like to say five, four. OK, what is it? It's potato crab cakes with a little bit of Asian flair with soy and peppers. Yeah, it's very hot. And um, some of the potato inside are crunchy. They're undercooked. Don't piss me off, or you'll get a pit bull. Back in line, Larry. Thank you. And whose is this? It's mine, chef. And first name? Maribel. Maribel. What is it? It's a Argentine plantain soup. I'm so sorry. It's garlicky, it's hot, and it looks like baby vomit. It was a disaster. He spit it out. I don't think it was too spicy. I don't think he could take the spice. I think he's a wimp when it comes to that. Back in line. I feel sick. Do you know what? I don't know if I want to go any further, to be honest. Can it get any worse? I'm saying a prayer now.
Gabriel, let's start off with you first, shall we? I think even with the four ingredients, my stuffed thigh and my chicken breast is cooked perfectly. It's a seared uh, blackened chicken with pan roasted carrots, corn, and yellow squash. You cooked a leg stuffed with the mousse. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god. I think it's on the cutting board show. Here's the thing. I mean, not only did you forget how to count to five, but you cooked a leg stuffed with a mousse that looked quite nice. That's two big forgets in a period of 30 minutes. It's not good enough. I don't want you sitting in that, yeah. because I know there's going to be a better dish, so yeah. fuck off back in line with sure. your dish. It doesn't make sense. Next up, Scott, let's go. Sit in that chair, Scott. What is it? We've got um, some fried oysters with crispy mushrooms and bulgur wheat. Oysters are delicious. Swordfish, slightly overcooked. However, delicious. Well done. You have earned your right to be in the chair. Thanks, Chef. With Scott making a good impression on his new team. Spicy. Nice debut. Sandra hopes to prove her value to her new teammates with her nutty tuna tagliatelle. That's delicious. Uh, tuna's cooked beautifully. Past the works, does the tuna have the edge over the swordfish? Yes, it does. Swap places with Scott. Good job. With Sandra now holding the top spot, new red team member Anton is looking to surpass her with his creative take on pork. It looks like a seagull splattered all over your pork. That's a uh, fig uh, feta cheese spread. Uh, it's delicious. Thank you, Chef. Sit down. Well Thank done. You, Good job. Screw you, Anton, with your pork chop. I have a way more complex dish. I don't care. Rochelle, let's go. So, what is it? So I did a basic seasoning with the New York. It's cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Great sear. With the kale, um, I threw in an avocado mix. I thought it was a strange combination, the avocado, and it actually quite works. Is that better than Anton's? It is. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. Sit down. So far, King of the Hill is looking more like a game of musical chairs. Let's be honest, no one's lasting long in the chair, let me tell you. Joy, let's go. And now, all of the remaining chefs are eager to dethrone Queen Rochelle. Mm, it's delicious. <clears throat> is it better than Rochelle's New York strip? No. Back in line. Thank you. Mm. Can I have a little taste? Mm -hmm. One thing is missing there. A little bit more salt? I'll take any salt. Back in line. Wow, wow, wow. You're going to fucking choke someone. Back in line. Okay, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Excuse nice. me. Oh, shit. The brown rice is like a mouthful of bullets. Back in line with your dish. Hang yourself. Uh, so far, Rochelle is in the driving seat. If she remains there, she wins the challenge for the blue team. Only one more dish. Come on, Mayo. Come on, Mayo. Your old teammate. I know. <laughs> Like, you want her to do good, but then you don't. <laughs> well, that looks nice. What is it, please? OK, so pan-seared halibut. I did a white wine, pasilla pepper, and mushroom duck cell. Halibut's cooked beautifully. It's still glistening inside, which always makes me happy. The flavor's good. Thank you, Chef. Really good indeed. Wow. Really tough. The winner by an absolute fraction, Melanie. You will not be sitting down. Rochelle, yes! 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 Oh. oh my god. That's it, Rochelle. Oh. Uh, join your team. Congratulations. Thank well you, done, Chef. Dan. Scallop Sarah, they look fucked from here. I'm sorry, Chef, I messed up. That's me, man. Guys, Ready my risotto is going to overcook if you don't hurry up. As Sarah struggles with her scallops. Get it on the fucking plane. Don't use the flat tap. It's a direct heat. Over in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay is hoping the men can get off to a better start. On order, four covers, table 22, two risotto, fire. One burger, one mac and cheese. Yes, yes, chef. Chef. yes chef. Thank you. First two risotto, six minutes. Start the risotto, thank you. Yes, chef, yes. already working, chef. Good, let's go. Hey, let me take over, Brett. Perfect. Thank you very much. I want to take charge of this station. I want to show Chef that I can cook. Come on. Two risotto. Talk to him. Walk and Rizzo. Good. Thank you. Fucking hell. Blue team. Yes. Come here, all of you. First ticket. Two risotto, and I've got barely one and a half portions. Ah. 
Working hard, Chef. I'm Working hard. Bailey. And fucking tastic. Brendan, he might be making some pretty good risotto, but he's not making enough for two people. First and last mistake of the night. Yes, Work it out. Yes, okay, yes, get a grip now. Huh? I'm yes. fucking serious because I'm getting a little bit fucking pissed off. Brendan fucked up. Now I have to grab him. I'm gonna throw him over my shoulders, and we are gonna swim to safety. Working hard, Chef. Four minutes. While Brett comes to the rescue at the appetizer station, over in the red kitchen. Scallops. He's cooked nicely. Sarah has rebounded on the scallops. Go, please. And families on the red side are happy with what they're receiving. This is really good. At least for now. Four cup of table 33, yes? One burger, one mac and cheese, two risotto. Yes, chef, yes, chef, chef. OK, let's do this. Let's continue. Let's try and see if we can keep the balls rolling. Mac and cheese is ready. Mac and cheese is ready. All right, hey. Right. Well, it needs to be seasoned. Moving, moving, yeah? Here, yeah. here, here, here. Chef, mac and cheese. Is that going? Oh, my god. Fuck me. Hey, all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come here. Yeah, hurry up. Taste that. We just taste, taste that. Oh, my Salt. god. Salty. That is disgusting. Yeah, chef. Who made that? Who fucking made that? I put the extra salt in at the end, chef. I'll fix it, though. Michelle, the young children. Got it, chef. chef. Michelle's extra seasoning has forced Allison to start again on her mac and cheese. Okay. Don't worry. Two minutes. Two minutes. While in the blue kitchen. Two minutes to risotto, chef. Brett is almost ready with the refire of the first risotto ticket. Nick, going with the, neck, the lobsters for the extra risotto? Ready? One minute. One minute, heard. I don't mind taking control of situations, especially if I feel like I have a handle Whoa. on it. I got this shit. I got this. Two risotto. Stop. Yes, Stop. Come here. Bring that fucking pan and bring that pan here. All of you, come here. The chef. That's the old risotto that's gone three, four minutes ago, dumped into the fresh one. The chef What in it the up. fuck are we doing? Now we're in trouble. Cut the bullshit. Come on, the guys. Chef. The chef. Brett, use the old risotto into the new risotto, and you never do that. You can't do that. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. It's all right, How you. dare I do that? How the fuck dare I do that? He likes to think of himself as our quarterback. But a uh, proper quarterback wins, you know? Whoa. My signature dish is going to help me stand out, because I'm a true culinarian. I understand what Gordon's looking for. What is it? I call it exotic tartare, because it's with venison and diver scallops, with caviar and white chocolate, and... Oh, stop, stop, stop. Let me just get this right again. Either that or I'm just about to be punked. <laughs> diver scallops, chopped up. Caviar and white chocolate. Do you smoke? Cigarettes? No. <laughs> raw venison, raw quail egg, lime zest, olive oil, scallops, caviar, and grated white chocolate. Capers as well. must be one of the worst combinations I've ever tasted in 21 years of cooking. Piss off, will you? I really don't understand what Chef Ramsay didn't like about the dish. I'm a little boggled on that. 